So I thought I'd go through how I record this stuff. So this is the, uh, the uh, typo negative track. And so it's got seven parts to it, uh, bass, drums, and a bunch of guitar parts. And so I'll go through each one of these because I have access to the levels and it's pretty neat. So let's listen to it all together and then I'll show you the layers. So let's start with just the drum track. So I built the drum track using a uh, some online loop sequencing thing. And so that's the drum track. Pretty simple. And then I layer in the bass. And then I've got a guitar track. Let's see that one. And then there's the, the lead track, the melody line. Then we've got another crunch, a different type of guitar track that goes with this one. See how so two guitars. And then we've got, what's this one? So this one is just another a fuller guitar track. So this one along with these three. Add the bass. Let's see. Add the drums. And then the melody. So you can control, you know, how much bass you want, how much drums you want. And they're just short little tracks. Pretty neat. I like to do this kind of stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>